Hello and welcome back to Reality Check. My name's Cam and I'm back on GameSpot for a very special three-part mini-series of Reality Check, all about the science of upcoming sci-fi thriller Prey. It's a joyous return for a real fan favorite, and my gosh, doesn't it look fantastic? But enough about me. Prey is also back. Unlike me though, it's completely different. Bethesda and the talented folks at Arcane Studios have entirely reimagined the 2006 shooter into a whole new sci-fi thriller. Me, on the other hand, well, I'm much the same. Arguably worse. What with all the terrible aging. But don't worry, Prey has the ability to make me better with newer mods. And that is exactly where we're gonna start with episode one of this three-part reality check special. God, I love mods. Neuromods allow the player to unlock new abilities and generally level up character Morgan Yu as the game progresses. They work by changing the neural pathways in the brain to produce new effects and grant the player new powers to help fight and survive aboard Talos 1. This physical remapping sounds pretty great. That is until you learn that the method of administration is stabbing a giant needle in your eye. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's actually two needles. But could a neuromod like this ever actually exist in real life? Is it really possible to remap our human brains? And is sticking needles in your eye ever a good idea? I really love the, the neuromod, the fact that it does involve sticking a needle in your eye, first of all, because it's terrifying and really fun idea. But also, whenever you look at the skull, that's a reasonable good way of getting to the brain. Your, your skull is a, basically a helmet that's inbuilt. It's hard to crack and get into. So going through the eye cavities, probably one of the best ways. Everyone meet Simon Watt, biologist and science presenter. Now, I sat down with Simon to chat all about the science of neuromods. And I started by asking him how they might actually work. What's happening in Prey is that these people are having their brain chemistry and the neurons changed. And that's effectively what learning is. Whenever we gain a new ability, when we learn something new, it is effectively like parts of our neurons are starting to talk to each other in a different way. It's a new pathway, a new circuit that is created. So in prayer, they're doing something to switch these neurons on and off and create new pathways to give you these new abilities. So what could be triggering this switching on and off of neurons whenever you use a neuromod in prey? Well, the game hints that the needles are injecting a serum directly into the brain and that this stimulates the brain cells, the neurons, to react to light. Now Simon has a theory for how this could actually work. The way I'd like to imagine it when they say about a serum, it might be the serum is filled with viruses. Viruses that contain DNA from algae and bacteria that turn on the light sensitivity of the brain cells. And then if you shine a light using a fiber optic and some lasers or something, then you can target which neurons are switched on, which ones are switched off. And with that precision, we can really alter the brain. Fascinating stuff. In fact, that process that Simon just described of using viruses as a vehicle to transport special light-sensitive DNA from bacteria or maybe algae into brains and then using light to affect it is actually a real-life scientific field. It's called optogenetics. We've been using optogenetics a lot in mice as a research tool, using them as a study before we move it on to humans. So far, they've managed to make mice that were blind be able to see again. Uh, furthermore, they've been able to teach these mice things. They've been effectively able to target the dopamine sensors, the, the pathways that we use in learning, in reward. And so if you make these parts switched on and you teach a mouse something specific, then it's like it has learnt that there will be a reward for any particular thing. And from this, we're able to make these mice learn incredibly quickly. Well, that's all well and good for mice, but what about boosting human learning, which is what neuromods essentially do? Well. Imagine a neuromod which gives you the ability to, say, fly a plane. Now, it's obviously not quite the same, but last year, a study published in the journal Frontiers in Human Neuroscience showcased a fascinating way of helping beginner pilots learn to fly more quickly. So they were able to study the brain patterns of pilots, see what areas of the brain seem to be firing, what parts were most active, what parts were not. And from this, use electrical stimulation and a kind of cap that they put in volunteers to make those areas more 
receptive to change, more receptive to having those neurons switched on. This basically means that these people seem to learn the skills of being a pilot that little bit faster. So, what abilities would you take a stab in the eye for? Let me know in the comments down below. Now next week, in part two of this Reality Check mini-series, we're going to take a look at the Fabricator. How close are we to having one today? Could it ever be real? And what wondrous things could we make? Thanks for watching everybody, and come back next week for part two of this Prey Reality Check special.